For you OG viewers out there, do you remember the time I cooked spicy chicken and almost suffocated Holly? I said I would never make that chicken again, but I have the bottle of the sauce and I noticed it's about to expire. And okay, looking into the bottle, the sauce looked way thicker, so I thought I could show a little bit of it near the opening of the bottle, but obviously that didn't happen. We're off to a great start. So I've got the sauce and I also have a chicken breast in the fridge, so I feel like it's just meant to be. Plus, Holly isn't here, so she won't take any damage from my experiment. The one thing I will change is that instead Instead of pan searing, I'm going to air fry the chicken to see if it still creates the spicy fumes. I let it sit in the fridge for a couple of hours before taking it out and placing it in the air fryer. Quick question, what do you guys think this looks like? I popped it in for 15 minutes at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. About halfway through, I checked the temp and it was at 105, so I flipped it and finished the rest of the time. And I added an additional 3 minutes, so total cooking time was 18 minutes in the air fryer to get to 165. This is mainly information for those of you who are trying to figure out chicken breasts in the air fryer. Absolutely no spicy fumes were present so that was a plus although my nose was tingling from the spicy smell i rested the chicken for about four minutes and then cut into it chicken was still moist which was nice wow that was spicy instant burn on my tongue nice it's on that line of pleasant enough spice where it doesn't ruin the taste but just on that fine line good news no hollies were harmed in the making of this video